I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Valentine's Day and love. All that. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on that faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to higher things. Donate. A tax-deductible gift to higher things keeps us passing on that faith to the next generation. We need this gospel in these dark times. Everything you ever wanted to know about St. Valentine is in a video in the description. Uh, I love the video that Higher Things put together last year on... Um, uh, dead Christians. So you should watch that video. I want to talk to you a little bit about um, love and Valentine's. I personally cannot stand Hallmark holidays. I, I, bleh, bleh, bleh. can you tell? Bleh. Now, I mean, Father's Day, Mother's Day, you should love mom every day. You don't need, you shouldn't need a day to love mom. You should love dad every day. You shouldn't need a day to love to love dad. You should just love him. Grandparents day, grandpa and grandma, don't push them off the cliff. Love them every single day. Um, and Valentine's Day rolls around and we take a special, I guess there's a gift in a special day for the person. Don't get me wrong. Um, don't hate. Um, but I do want to say a couple of things about love. Love that's thrown around a lot. I love chocolate. I love dogs, puppies and kittens, all of that business. Um, Let's start with what real love is. Real love was shown to us on the cross. Real love was shown to us when one man died for all. And now, sometimes uh, someone would die for maybe a nice person, or maybe they would step in front of a uh, push a push a push somebody they love or, or out of the way uh, of, an, of an of a moving vehicle. But to die for people who hate you and love you. Only God can do that. To die while they're taunting you and to be dying for them, that's love. This is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and gave up his life for us. When we talk about romantic love, eros, um, I like to think that romantic love should be connected to that one love in some way. Um, and what I mean by that is is you sort of, we sort of throw the word love around a lot. But when you have that special someone, um, and you might be best friends with them, and you guys might be thick as thieves, and all of that, uh, the important thing for a guy, that you look at that person you love, and you think to yourself, I'd die for you. I'd be Christ for you. I'd give up my life so that you would live. And if you're a girl, you got all those warm, gushy feelings inside. You, you love him. He just, you just light up. You know, you, every time you see me, like, you light up my life. You give me hope. All that love. All that love. All that love. The important thing is, it, is that he'll die for you. And that's the thing to think about when it comes to your valentine. Um, as a guy, you look at your girl and you're like, am I going to die for her? Is that, is that how much I love her? And then you look at uh, guy, uh, girls, you look at your guys, and you don't think, um, uh, you think to yourself, will he die for me? Will he be Christ for me? Um, if you find somebody that you'll die for, guys, and girls, if you find somebody that you will, who will die for you, who will put you above everything else, that's the person that you need to have as your valentine. If, if they're more concerned with themselves, if they're more concerned with what's going on with them, if you're just an afterthought in their life, then um, maybe, maybe you should rethink it. But if you're willing to die for that person, guys, that's true love. And girls, if you're willing to let him die for you, that's true love. Um, that's love... Woo, love. Um, it, it, it may not be the warmest, fuzziest feeling, 
Some of us are incapable of warmest, fuzziest feelings. Um, some of us have hearts that are two sizes too small. But, it, it, but it, it's the simple fact of, can I be Christ for her? And for her, will I be the church for him? Will I let him die for me? Will I let him love me that way? And if you can find that, then you will have a blessed Valentine's Day even on the 15th of February or the 16th of February or the 2nd of March or in the deep, dark, dark days of the winter like January 15th. Um, it's kind of a gift to have a day set aside for love. But it's also most important to remember the true love who gave up his life a ransom for us all. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.